baby, it's cold outside. It's been below freezing for a couple of days and Justin has been braving the weather to go outside to take care of the water for the animals and to break up some of the ice in some of the red buckets so that um, the animals that drink out of those just as they're out and about can drink some water, have access to some water instead of just ice. And so I wanted y'all to be able to see how thick the ice got in one of the buckets out front. How the ice turned up whenever I pushed it down. It's crazy. At least for Texas. So special thanks to Justin for being so tough and hardy and rugged and getting out there in those cold temperatures. Um, he pretty much had to do it by himself because we've had company over, um, family has been visiting, and so I've been spending some time in the kitchen doing a little bit of cooking. I know, shocker. It happens sometimes though. I can be domesticated. <laughs> Here's one of the recipes that I made for today, New Year's Day lunch. I had also made it at Thanksgiving, so the thing that I would have changed and done differently today is add more butter in the sweet potatoes instead of as much bacon grease. I still would have used bacon grease, but less of that and um, added another like half stick of butter. I just think it gives it a little bit better of a flavor. And then I probably would have peeled the sweet potatoes a little bit better because we did have a little bit of stringiness in those. Um, and it was just because we'd grown those here and the outer portions of them were pretty fibrous. Hope you enjoy the recipe. The first prep step is the bacon. So you want to fry your bacon. It's okay to get it a little bit crispy. Maybe not quite that crispy would be preferable. Um, you don't want it like super flimsy, but you want it a little bit crisp. But remember, you're going to put it back in the oven later. So um, if you get it this crispy, it might be pretty tough by the time you eat it. And I always do this before I make scrambled eggs. That way I can reuse the pan. Um, and then I've used it twice before I have to wash. Make sure to keep your um, bacon grease, the drippings, because you're going to use that in the recipe as well. We're going to start the next step of the recipe. I have washed these homegrown sweet potatoes. Um, I scrubbed them with some water after removing some of the um, eyes that grew into starts or slips. Um, if it was closer to springtime, I would have planted those, but we are in the middle of literally freezing weather, so now is not the time to plant those. So these, again, have been scrubbed, and I am going to chop them up and put them in a pan and bake them for a little while, um, probably about 25 minutes, so that they can get soft. And then I will do the next step, which will be mashing them. If there's room, I'll add butternut squash, but I don't think there's going to be enough room in the, the dish to be able to fit um, these super long, um, I would say tubers, but I think sweet potatoes actually roots. And these we grew from some slips that we started from sweet potatoes that, from organic sweet potatoes that I purchased at Sam's Club. I knew that since they were organic, then they should not have been irradiated. So they should have still been viable, which they were. Poked toothpicks in the sweet potato, set it in a cup of water, replenished the water periodically, and the slips just grew out, and then we broke those off. And um, I think we may have put some of them in water, but once they started rooting, we planted them outside. And then we took the potatoes themselves and planted those out in the garden as well. I just think these are really cool because you usually don't see them like this in the store. I went ahead and preheated the small oven that we're going to use to bake these in. So the excess I'm putting in a bowl and we're going to put that in the vermicomposting bin and check the link 
here for the video on how I made that. And we'll be having another video that um, I can link in the description below of actually installing the worms and the bedding um, to start off that new worm bin for vermicomposting. Are you playing soccer, mister? Playing soccer? Mm. That was making more of a mess than peeling it, so I rinsed off the cutting board and I'm going to go back to the knife. cutting up the sweet potato this did not work as well with peeling so I went back to using a knife to peel the sweet potato rind was just a little bit too tough and it was just making a lot of mess on the cutting board and because of that um, there is a little bit of dirt and debris on the sweet potatoes so after I got the pieces of sweet potato washed I put a little bit of butter in there about half a stick and I just cut it up into small pieces and then I put the lid on the casserole dish put it into this um, little oven uh, bake that in the little oven for about 22 minutes maybe at 350 and then I baked it for another 30 minutes at 400 and then I pulled it out and mashed it with a handy dandy potato masher and then I smoothed it out and I sprinkled brown sugar on top now I'm crushing up some pecans from my parents place I'm also going to add some bacon grease for additional flavor um, just because it makes it yummy here's where I'd say go ahead and add a little bit of bacon grease and then like maybe about a half a stick or even a stick of butter because the butter just makes the flavor that much better and then I'm going to crush up some bacon on it and add marshmallows on top. Super rich and sweet and decadent. Not at all a healthy uh, side, but awesome for the holidays. <laughs> And then you put it back in the oven at about 350 degrees for about 10 or 15 minutes, basically until the marshmallow just starts to get golden on top. Then you pull it out and serve. Here's a video of the sweet potato pie after we already dug into it. There was a little bit left over, just enough so we could show you. This is what's left over. I think everybody liked it pretty well. Mm-hmm. Happy New Year!
Cloud Hoppers. Thanks for watching the video. Push the thumbs up to like the video. Also, hit that subscribe button, also the bell, so that you can get notifications when our videos come out. Check us out on our social media pages, too. We have Facebook and Pinterest, and soon we'll have Instagram. The links are below. Bye, y'all. Bye. Good job.